Okay, this one says by inspection, and this is a binomial raised to a third power, and there's definitely patterns to it. You may not recognize the patterns at this point, but they're pretty simple patterns. All right, I'm gonna write down what the pattern is. I'm gonna see an A cubed, that's for sure. I'm gonna see an A squared, that's for sure. I'm gonna see an A to the first power, and I'm gonna see an A to no power. I'm also gonna see this B thing here. All right, now someone says, what do you mean the B thing? There's three Bs. So I would see, I'll write this down for you. 3B to the third power, 3B to the second, 3B to the first, and 3B, I'm sorry, to the zero. All right? Now, Grant, you're looking and saying, I don't want to do that. I want to do something different. We're not going to stop you. All right? And then you start to realize it's an addition problem. Now, I think most people get that pattern pretty quickly. The numerical coefficients are a little bit harder to come up with, though. But these will both be 3. You may want to practice that by just doing this over here, a plus b cubed. And if you did that, what you're going to see is this will be equal to a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3a. That doesn't look like a 3, does it? 3ab squared plus b cubed. That's all we did, all right? Now, someone says, could you simplify that? Of course I can. What would you get? You would get a cubed plus 9a squared b plus 27ab squared plus 27b cubed. And again, with some practice, you might be able to do that very quickly. Again, not a big fan of speed. We're done. Thank you.